Hi folks, uh, welcome along to the new video. Uh, today I'm a little bit different, we're going to be looking at the uh, a microscope review. So I'm going to review the Apex Practitioner microscope. Um, that's the one, one you can see on the screen here. So a very popular microscope amongst koi keepers, um, well proven track record. Um, the one most recommended I would suggest, I have owned this scope myself in the past. Um, uh, and it is an excellent microscope. So. Um, firstly, this is the site that I have just ordered mine from this morning. Um, today is the 25th of September 2020, just for reference. £115. Um, uh, this, is, this is the best price I could find it at. I think that's an absolute bargain, uh, to be honest. Uh, the site is apexmicroscopesecure.co.uk. Um, I've ordered it. I'll, I'll Obviously, as the review goes on, I'll tell you the, about the service I receive from this company um, but so far so good I'll, I'll come on to a little bit in a minute uh, so I've ordered the Apex Practitioner I've also ordered um, the Mini Grab for £72 that goes with it so this is this is um, a USB camera effectively that replaces the eyepiece so you can rather than looking down the eyepiece you, you can you can output it to um, a computer or a screen and you can record videos and save, save images etc so not vital, but a, a nice to have, and certainly when I go on to do videos on scopes and things like that, it will be really useful for uh, for for producing images and videos that I can I can share with you. So that's what I've ordered and, and where I ordered it from. So I placed the order this morning, um, about twenty past quarter past six, I think, in the morning. Um, straight away, I received this automated confirmation just detailing what I've ordered and the total cost £187 in total for the two free delivery as well with that so as I say a really good price soon after that I received this email saying thank you for your order it will be delivered to you Wednesday the 30th of September so as I say it's the 25th today Friday so that's three stroke four working days um, delivery so can't grumble at that and then um, an hour or so later, I received this email from a lady in um, technical support and sales, which had two attachments. Uh, the first one of those attachments was uh, um, a manual for the for the microscope itself. So um, just quickly scroll through. You know, you got image, you got labels that are telling you what everything is. Um, unpacking and assembly instructions specimen selection and instructions on focus illumination how to actually use the microscope um, magnification attaching the mechanical stage just in the focus uh, photomicrography um, and then some some instructions on the eyepiece as well that I've purchased with it uh, so yeah good pretty good pretty comprehensive operating manual um, and delivered by email as I say an hour, an hour and a half after I actually placed the order cleaning and maintenance and then some information on the spec glossary of the terms so yeah good stuff um, the second attachment was was this one which is explaining about the pointer device that's included in the eyepiece um, explains what it's for and what, how to use it and it also tells you how to remove that pointer if you don't want to if you don't want to keep it in um, so yeah uh, so far so good so I'll, I'll await Wednesday with bated breath uh, and when it arrives I'll get on and do some unpacking and, and carry on with the review okay so the microscope arrived Wednesday morning as promised uh, I received a text message early in the morning saying it'd be be with me between 10 30 and 11 30 and it arrived banging uh, banging that slot so no complaints at all about the the company i got it from the service so far um well packaged yeah no problem so let's get it open and have a look what we've got Okay, so lots of packaging looks to be really well packaged. Um, very well packaged. Um, 
So here we go. Another box. And I think that's everything. Yeah. Lots of packaging. <coughs> okay. So box within a box. Okay. Packaged, uh, no, no obvious, no obvious damage. Um, we've got a power supply there. Obviously, the UK, the UK plug. Um, let's just have a quick, uh, a quick scope through what we've got. Oops, open it upside down. Got some slides there, some microscope slides, some different coloured uh, filters and a, and a spare fuse. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to have a look exactly what that is. Um, and then we've got the microscope itself. Um, again, oh, oh that's a cover. That, that's just a cover for the microscope. Um, yeah, so the microscope itself. Uh, everything intact, no problem. So I'll. Uh, I'll get this all set up uh, and we'll put it through its paces. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll just quickly as well go through the um, the mini grab, the the USB camera uh, for the uh, practitioner microscope. And I'll just show you what's in that box. Okay, so when you open it up, you've got a little disc which has got drivers on um, for your PC, laptop um, to to operate the camera. Sponge pad. Um, you've then got the, a USB cable, um, which, which basically, as I say, it's, it's a USB. Um, so a USB on one end to go into your laptop, and then the other end as um, I think that's a micro USB. Is that called? Or yeah, that 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 connection goes into the camera itself. Okay, and then the camera itself looks like this. So basically, this is, um, this is an eyepiece, a digital eyepiece, that replaces the, the optical eyepiece that comes, comes with the scope. So basically, it looks like that. And what you've got is the, um, the socket on the end to plug the lead into. As I say, the other end of this goes into your, into your computer. A little rubber lens cover there and then inside there you've got your little uh, uh, your little camera little digital camera and that that goes into the top of the microscope and replaces the optical the optical eyepiece so if we look at the scope this is the optical optical eyepiece um, so you simply slide that out slide in the USB camera um, uh, plug it in and, and you view on the screen rather than down the eyepiece so it's it's literally as simple as that to change over between the two okay so this is the microscope all out of its packaging so basically what we've got obviously an eyepiece I've got the optical manual eyepiece in at the moment um, so that's this piece here which simply slides in and out um, this, this, as you can see, turns round. So you can view from different angles, and the view, the view inside doesn't change. Okay, and you've got the bed for the for the samples to go on the slide to go on. So this is the slide holder. Basically, you pull that back, you put your slide on, and it clamps it then uh, in this area here, and holds it in position. Okay, the bed itself. Then you've got a scale on here. As you can see, it's set at zero there. That, that that scale is the position of the bed in this direction. And then you have a second scale under here, which is the position uh, of the bed laterally, so left to right. So at zero, 
your your set um, in the back uh, left position. Okay, so these dials, this is this is for focusing. So you've got a very coarse focus, which as you can see, moves the bed up and down very quickly. And then when you're somewhere close, you switch to the finer focus, uh, you know, to be able to get a really sharp image. Okay, it switches the light. Um, and I'll just plug it in so you can see. On off switch here. So you turn the light on. Um, and I think you can just about see the light down there. And then this this dial, you simply turn this to increase or decrease the intensity of the, the light source underneath. Okay, as you, as you saw, the bed moves left and right, forward and back. Um, on these microscopes, a really good feature I find is the, the forward and back and left and right are both in the same position. So it's both one hand. Uh, both done by the one hand. So there's two two dials here, a lower one and an upper one. The upper one moves the bed forwards and backwards. And then the lower one moves the bed left and right. So it's both done by the same hand, which then leaves you, your right hand free to focus um, over there. So you, you don't need to take your eye away um, from the eyepiece. So they're the basics. Obviously, we've got the lenses, three different magnifications, um, and that simply turns around. So you've got the lowest magnification there, and then the next highest, and then the highest, and that simply twists round um, to whichever position you want. As I say, I do have the um, I have the digital uh, the camera. And it, you simply remove the eyepiece, place the digital one in, uh, plug it into your laptop, and then everything that you would normally see down the eyepiece is on your on your computer screen. So, so they're the very very basic quick whistle stop tour of the microscope. Um, obviously, a, a power card, two hundred and forty volt power supply um, built in. So yeah, they're the basics and. It is a it is a good quality microscope, you know. It's got it's got a lot of weight to it. Um, all all the all the actions on it are really smooth and solid. Um, you know, even even selecting a different uh, magnification, it just it's just very smooth. Um, it does it gives you a feeling of being really well put together, um, and you know for the price. I've seen a lot more expensive microscopes feel a lot more flimsy and a lot a lot more cheaply built. Um, you've got at the bottom there, you've got the light source as well. Um, as you can see there with the intensity of the light source increasing and decreasing. Um, so yeah, they're the basics. I mean, there is a little bit more, a little bit more to it, but that's, that's, uh, you know, that's enough, enough really for what we need. So, I will uh, stick this on the computer now and I'll just show you just quickly put a couple of the slides in that come with it um, that you can you can use to uh, practice on get your eye in and I'll put it up on the computer so you can see wh what we're looking at okay so these are the these are the slides that come with it uh, come with the microscope so you've got five blank slides there to get you going and then you've got five slides with with little um, little things on them already for you to have a practice with uh, get your eye in so for example uh, that's onion skin um, there's the the customary uh, the traditional housefly leg which seems to always be uh, a favorite with these and you can actually if I put something white behind it you can just make out the leg there with the fly so we'll get that on um, on the microscope and we'll have a look at it So the microscope slide itself goes on the bed there and as I say this this is spring loaded that just clamps in place keeps it firm um, so I'll switch on the light source I'll get this uh, I'll get this roughly 
roughly where it needs to be. And you can see these with the naked eye, so you can get it get it lined up re reasonably close. Um, and then I'll get it focused down the eyepiece. Okay, so um, I can actually probably put the camera down the eyepiece. Maybe we can see. Maybe not. Um, there you go. You can just about see what I'm seeing down the eyepiece. Okay, um, so I'll switch over then to the USB camera. So remove the, uh, the lens. Put the USB one in. I'm not sure which is up and which is down, so we'll work it out. I've not switched over to the uh, screen view. I'll just I'll just point the camera at the laptop. So this is the software that comes with the camera. I've just opened up now. Um, my camera is recognised. This eyepiece is this one. So if you click on that to select that, um, and then you get the the view that the camera has got. Now, I'm not sure which way up this should be oriented yet. I'll have to work that out. But you can see, um, if I slide across, you can see the image there on the screen um, of the fly's leg. And this is at the minimum magnification. Okay. There, so uh, I'll turn that up to the next magnification level. And you can see we need to refocus. Uh, that's the end of the leg there and then if I go again to the maximum magnification it's probably a bit much this one to be honest for this um, for this sample yeah it's difficult it's difficult to uh, to find that but where are we there we are we've gone back back down again um, I'll just go back up now so there you go you can see very close up of the, the claw on the end of the, the flyer's leg so that's the that's the uh, the USB camera yeah works brilliant really happy with that um, just over here you, you can take a picture a snapshot and you can record video as well if you're looking at moving objects uh, such as sky parrot you know parasites that are that are moving you can record a little video of them so um all in all yeah excellent no problems at all um i will give it give it a, a good a good going over now and i'll go and i'll scrape some koi uh, at some point and do do a video on on how to do that uh, and what to look for I'll, I'll get get a better setup here so it's so it's a bit easy to film but yeah to summarize brilliant um really really like the microscope really good build quality really feels well made solid um brilliant price the company i got it from that i linked to at the beginning of the video excellent can't fault them at all um don't need the usb camera it's about 72 pound i think don't need it but it is a good addition if you get you know it, it certainly helps some people struggle to look down at uh, this eyepiece of a microscope you know it, it um it, it does help but as i say it's not vital but highly recommended um can't i can't fault it at all in terms of the cost and the functionality the build quality if you're looking at price scrapes really do recommend that the apex practitioner it's a cracking, cracking score.